These pictures clearly tell us how much of a surprise the visit was by the Chinese Premier to Nepal, Wen Jiabao. Despite the allowance from the Nepal Army for journalists into the airport, the Chinese side seemed a bit reluctant in letting the Nepali media persons into the site of arrival of their Premier. With the so-called successful and high-priority but short and five-hour-long visit to Nepal, Premier Wen Jiabao has already left for Doha with its Chinese delegation. But the arrival of the Chinese Premier, which was made public just on Friday evening, did not see any kind of disruptive activities or protests in the capital as expected. The Chinese Premier arrived in Kathmandu on Saturday with his Chinese delegation including some cabinet ministers. With a delegation that included the Ministers for Foreign Affairs, Commerce and Public Security and Politburo member Zhao Yong Kang of the Communist Party of China, the Chinese side forged eight different agreements with Nepal today. During the lunch held at Singadarbar on Saturday afternoon, Prime Minister Dr. Babaram Bhattrai's Chinese counterpart made three clear commitments. Firstly, the Chinese Premier promised his country's continued support for the successful completion of Nepal's peace process. Secondly, the relations between India and China are improving. In this regard, the Chinese Premier hinted that the relations between Nepal and India should also prosper. And thirdly, China will always be willing to provide financial support to Nepal in all kinds of development works. The Nepal government too cited Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao's visit as a milestone in strengthening relations between the two countries. The Nepali government also cited Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao's visit as a milestone in strengthening relations between the two countries. The lunch yaw that took place in Singapore this afternoon saw ministers of all kind from both sides discuss in improving bilateral relations between the two countries. However, during the meeting, the Chinese Premier expressed his sorrow for not being able to visit different places in Nepal during his short but sweet visit. He claimed that the visit was planned in a short span of time owing to his busy schedule. With the visit from the Chinese Premier, the rising speculation over China's cold diplomatic behavior towards Nepal since the last 10 years has been erased once and for all. China has made it clear that the visit this time was not intended to intimidate the neighbors but to improve the ties between the Asian countries.